Hi, second graders. So today you're going to be starting to paint on your um, movement self-portraits that we started. So you're gonna have to first try to match your skin color with paint that you have with the paper. So what I'm going to do is to make it a little bit easier for you guys, you're gonna have some scrap paper at your table because you might wanna try to match it first before you um, try it out on your paper. So I'm gonna start with this one and then I'll show you the other one. Today, we are not going to be painting the face. We will be able to just add the whites of the eyes, but that's it. We are not doing anything else. The reason is because we're actually gonna use some color pencils um, since it might be a little bit hard at this stage to draw the facial features. So I'm gonna start by using my very small brush and I'm going to get just a little bit of white. Now, before I even do the skin color, I'm gonna find the middle of my head because your eyes are in the middle. And I'm going to do like a football shape, really slow. And then I'm gonna leave a space in between, almost the same amount as like another eye. And that's it. That's the only thing we're going to do on the face today. Then we're gonna start by trying to mix up your skin color. So if you have a peachier skin, you might wanna start with some white. And then the easiest way is to add that brown that I have. I have a nice like rusty color brown. And you'll see if that's the right skin tone. So that might be right for some people but for other people, you might need to add a little bit more white. Now, it's really important that whenever you use your brush, that you dry it on the sponge really, really well. You could even dry it in your smock if you need to, um, because you don't want a lot of water getting in this. So I'm gonna add a little bit more white, and that looks to be my color. So now I can just kind of take what I made, and I can use it on my picture. It's not gonna be exact, but that's okay. I might also, since I kind of know how I made it, I might just now mix it directly on my portrait. So now it looks like I might add a little bit more brown and I'm gonna do that everywhere that I have skin showing. And if I have a lot on my brush like I do right here, I can kind of extend it a little bit onto other parts. So now I'm just gonna speed it up a tiny bit. Now when I have a little bit of that skin tone left, I'm going to add on ears with that. Now this brush might be too big, so I'm gonna go back to my even smaller brush. And if I have a little paint left over, which I do from over here, I'm gonna add on my ears. Now your ears should be right at the same line of where your eyes are. And they're not that big. Just add your ears. Even if your hair covers your ears, it's good to just have it on here. So now you might have a darker skin color. So for you, if your skin color is something closer to this, you're gonna start with brown and that might be all you need. Or you might wanna add a little bit of yellow to your brown if maybe you chose a paper that was similar to this, you might have to add yellow and maybe a little bit of white. Or maybe you wanna start with white, then add in that brown and a little bit of yellow. So it's really gonna be um, up to your skin color and I can help you with that. A lot of you though will be okay, see this is similar. A lot of you will be okay with just brown or maybe even a touch of dark brown, which I also have in the palette. Um, if you have skin that's a little bit darker. So I have this dark brown. So I think I'm gonna do just brown on here and then maybe I'll add in a little bit of dark brown and let's see what I get. Now for your clothes, we're using acrylic paint. So you are going to be able to layer colors on top, but it needs to be dry. We cannot paint on top of another color if that other color is wet. So now I'm just gonna add a touch of this dark brown in. We always wanna start from light to dark because if you add dark first, 
then it's gonna be very hard to get lighter. So I'm adding just a touch of that darker color in. You wanna make sure that you dry your brush. So now I could add my ears on. I should have done the whites of my eyes, but I'll do that after, or the whites of the eyes for this person. And now I'm just gonna finish doing the skin everywhere. Now I'm doing the skin before I do any clothes because I'm not sure if we are going to have time to add on any clothes. 